Hey, hi, and hello. I'm Angry Gorilla, and welcome to the Pokey MMO server. This is 100 Laws, a series in which I show where to find lore exclusive Pokemon and how many we can get with 100 Laws. For those that aren't aware or new to the game, Laws are an item that were introduced in 2022. Laws come in two different types standard, which can be bought at Pokemarts across all regions, premium, which can be bought from the gift store for RP. Basically, they act as the opposite of repels in which they increase encounter rates 10% for standard and 25% for premium. Foes are slightly stronger than normal Pokemon in the area. Encounter more foes at the same time so we can have double battles and triple battles. Lure exclusive Pokemon are 5% for standard and 10% for a premium. As well as some extra features for the premium laws are small hordes of three may increase in size and if you encounter a shiny Pokemon, the secret shiny rate for that Pokemon is increased by 25%. They also range in strength. Basic laws are 100 steps for a standard, but 200 steps for a premium basic law. Super are 200 steps for a standard or 300 steps for a premium super law. Expert is 250 steps for a standard or 400 steps for a premium expert law. As for the costs, basic are 600 for standard, and then you're looking at 100 RP for the premium. Super are 1200 for standard and 150 RP for the premium. And expert are 1500 for standard and 200 RP for the premium version. So pretty much you can find Wherever you can get a repel, the strength of repel is what type you'll find lure. As for the premium, like I said, you go to the gift store and you go to the miscellaneous and there we are. We've got the premium laws here with all the details that I just mentioned previously. So with that being said, let's move on. Like I said, I'm going to show how and where to get lure exclusive Pokemon and show you the results of how many are achievable using 100 laws. I'll be using 100 standard basic laws so it's easy, even for everyone to use. So let's see how we go. Today for 100 laws, we're going to look into Gengar. Gengar is in the Kanto region. It is one of the original 151. It is the final evolution of Ghastly and the further evolution of Haunter. It can be obtained by means of a trade. So if you have a Haunter, you trade it, you'll then get it to evolve into Gengar. It is 100% lore exclusive in Pokemon Tower. Okay, so Gengar is a pretty decent Pokemon because if we get up, I think it's in, we got Gengar which is 6.27% usage and I think it's uh, literally, it's overused. So there's that. Now, in order to get to Pokemon Tower, you need to be able to get to Lavender Town. Once you're in Lavender Town, you can then head into this building here. This is Pokemon Tower, and then you can make your way up these stairs. If you have not faced against your rival, you will face up against your rival just there on that floor. But then once you're in the cloudy sort of floors, you can now pop a lure and you should encounter Gengar. What I like to do with Gengar is I like making my way all the way to the second to last floor because now I can pop a lure and I'll run around this floor here for Gengar. One thing to know is on this floor you can heal up your Pokemon there on this blue square. So that is very handy. And another thing to add is to bring a Pokemon that knows the Soak ability. Since False Swipe won't work on Ghost type Pokemon, it is important that we change it to a Water type and then we can then False Swipe it down to 1 HP. So I'm going to use 100 Laws and we'll see how we go. Okay, so here we have a single encounter for Gengar. Um, like I said earlier, I'll be using a Catching Smeargle. Um, my, the Smeargle that I'm using, similar level to Gengar, has False Swipe, Soak and Spore. Like I said, I want to use Soak in order to change Gengar's typing from Ghost to Water. The good thing is, a lot of the moves that Gengar has 
it won't really affect our smear glue being a normal type. Once I use soak, I'll also use spore to get it to go to sleep. And now I can then just hit it with false swipe in order to get its HP down. So the thing that we have to worry about with Gengar as well is that it has the ability, some Gengar will have the ability Cursed Body, which will mean that once we use False Swipe the first time, that's it, it's disabled. So luckily I had my Catching Parasect, which we can swap out, use False Swipe, or I think I am just gonna use an Ultra Ball there. Yep, just so then we can try and capture that Gengar straight away. And there you have it. Here are the results of 100 lures with Gengar. A bit disappointing. I would have thought we would have got more. We did only have 428 encounters. So that's 13 Gengars for 428 encounters, which is roughly a 3% encounter rate, which means we're using about 7 to 8 lures per Pokemon. So, like I said, it is handy to get yourself a Gengar. It might be easier to um, find someone that can trade. You can always find um, one of the mods and they're more than happy to help out get yourself a Gengar. But overall, pretty disappointed with this 100 laws. But hey, the last episode, we just had a very successful Munch, munch Lax. So... You win some, you lose some. So that is 100 laws done for today. Hopefully it is straightforward so you can find your own Gengar. With that being said, be sure to comment your thoughts down below or even hit me up on which Pokemon you'd like to see featured on 100 laws. Also, to keep up with what's being done, there is a playlist in the description which covers every single 100 lore episode up to date. And if you subscribe, it keeps you up to date with everything that goes on in the channel. I do like to post two pokey mmo videos a week i try to stick to that and i also try to stick to 100 laws being every wednesday so if you like the video please give it a like if you don't it's okay hopefully the next one will be better and that's all for now so look after yourself keep cool stay safe and i'll see you on the next one cheers